Hello Ariana, today is the 13th of May 2011, 2011, 2017 more like, and uh, I didn't really anticipate doing um, uh, another video so soon after the last one. Um, it's been a bit of a weird week. Um, I've had this week off <coughs> because I didn't really want to be at work during my birthday, which was on the 11th. And um, I came to see you on the 8th, um, even though I wasn't invited. Don't think your mum would like that. <coughs> um, and I made a video um, on the 9th the very next morning. And I thought that will probably be the last one I'll do for quite a while. But something got me thinking, it was to do with a conversation, a very brief conversation I had with you um, when I came to see you. And it was like a, an exchange regarding, um, you sort of interrupted me as I was like um, cuddling you and whatever. And um, you asked me how Nan was and I said she wasn't very well and you asked me if I was looking after her and I said I was. And when I was sort of, um, when Martina was driving me back to um, the hotel in her car, I was in tears, mostly thinking about, you know, what you said to me. I couldn't get my head around that at all. And um, the rather bizarre thing was I was in such a state, because we, we went from Barry to Cardiff Bay, and um, I was so emotional that we literally drove into Premier Inn, and I thought, oh, okay, I been so much in my own little world I didn't realise that we turned up but um, something I would not necessarily have known at that time of um, when I left I knew that Martina would take four photos well I knew that she took photos I didn't know how many and uh, it wasn't until I was um, I guess it was when I was in the car, I must have been looking at the photos. I'm not quite sure. I can't quite remember when I looked at the photos. But um, when I sort of like got to see them full size, um, there was um, one of the photos I really liked. There's one where you and I are cuddling each other, but you can't see my face and you can't see any of your face at all. You just see me cuddling a child. Um, but there is another one where you and I were in, in an in embrace and uh, we're looking at each other and um, it's pretty much where I'm sort of, you know, without you being aware of what's happened, me saying goodbye to you um, because I'm aware that your mum's never going to give up. Um, your mum's, in my view, just believes her own lies. I mean, she had the audacity to say that I wasn't allowed to sort of come up without without asking, which in view of the fact that we're not, we haven't even been communicating over the last 18 months is ridiculous. It's like she sort of plucks these, um, she plucks these things out of thin air and um, I can't be doing with it anymore. But anyway, I want to show you something. It's a photo. Um, and what I've done, you probably can't see properly because of the glare from whatever. God, this is not going well, is it? I really apologise for this. I'm going to have to take this somewhere else. just realise why there's a glare, it's the glare from my phone. You can't really tell because um, here we go, that's probably the best you're going to get. That's a photo of um, of you and I cuddling in the street, okay, and in your street. And um, I've sent one to your mother. Now, you have to understand the chain of events here. Sorry, I'm just trying to put this back where, where I found it. You have to understand the chain of events here. Um, on Saturday the 6th of May, I wrote a letter because I had an idea of how I thought things were going to pan out. And uh, I think I've got my facts wrong here. Hang on, let me just check something for you a minute. I 
I'm not sure when I wrote that letter. I either wrote it on the Friday the 5th or Saturday the 6th of May. But I didn't see you until um, the 7th of May. And I didn't do um, my last video until the 8th. I'm not very good at this, am I? Anyway. When I wrote that letter, I had no idea how things were going to pan out. And what I mean by that was... Um, I didn't know if I was going to see you. I didn't know, um, you know, whether I'd be allowed to see you, whether you'd be in your house and your mum wouldn't let me see you. Um, I would, didn't know if, you, if I was going to be rejected. I mean, I didn't know anything. So I wrote a letter and I thought, well, okay, this is how I'm going to plan this, play this out is, if I do see you, then it's a question of giving you the presence, interacting with you a little bit, saying my goodbye. Um, and giving your mum a letter, which I actually gave you instead. Or the other option is if nobody is around, I leave the presents with a neighbour and also the letter and walk off, and that's that. And if I hadn't seen you then, I probably wouldn't have seen you at all. So it was it was good that I managed to see you at last. Um, but the only thing was, what I couldn't foresee was how things would have panned out you know, with my interaction with you. And it was like the, those touching words you said to me when I left about like asking how mum was. And I thought to myself, I wanted you to know that, you know, I loved you. Um, and I always will love you. And um, obviously you, you're not aware. You would be aware that the reason I'm going away is because your mum doesn't want me to see you. Um, only your mum could know the answer to that. Um, I've... I'm trying to come up with all kinds of ideas why it is, um, you know, was this a plan all along or whatever, I, I just don't know. And um, I kind of thought to myself, you know, maybe I need to get on with my life. I, to, although, to be honest, I've got so much going on in my life, which is bad, that I don't seem like I'm actually capable of just getting on with things. I just feel like there's like just too many distractions, like I'm not in the greatest of health. Um, you know, with my arthritis, um, um, I'm just feeling down all the time. Um, I've got constant memories, like with children, children coming in with their parents at work, and um, also I've had some other sort of issues with mum and other things. And um, it's just sort of the last couple of years have just been quite abysmal, really. And um, you know, maybe I thought to myself that if I say goodbye to you and get on with my life, then maybe. Um, if I can put some distance between you and Barry, um, then maybe, you know, um, that would sort of draw a line under everything and I'll, I'll start to move on. Um, I knew that this week would be quite emotional. Um, and I haven't, maybe when I go back to work tomorrow, maybe I'll feel different, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just completely rambling. I've no idea what I'm meant to say here. <laughs> but anyway, I've sent your mum a letter with the photo and I will read the letter. I just want to show you something first. That's the letter I wrote. Well, that's strange. I've cocked that up, haven't I? I actually wrote it that I wrote it on Saturday and didn't I wrote it on Friday. Yeah, so I've actually written that um, it was Saturday the 12th, when it's not, it's Friday the 12th, but today it's Saturday the 13th, okay? And it says, on, sorry, Dear Sue, on Sunday when I made an unannounced visit, I had a brief conversation with Ariana while the enclosed photo was taken. During the conversation, Ariana asked how mum was, to which I, to which I replied, not very well. Since then, Sorry, she then asked me if I was looking after her and I responded by telling her that I was. I was overcome with emotion prior to leaving and it wasn't until I was travelling to my hotel afterwards I was able to fully digest what had happened and those kind words she said. This may not have occurred to you but it took a big risk in visiting you on Sunday. I was walking into the unknown, unaware of what I was walking into, whether you'd both be there or if Annie Ariana would reject me. The words she said to me just before I left 
will live with me forever and it's unlikely she'll be aware that I was finally saying goodbye to her. As you know, this letter has not been sorry, as you know, this letter has not needed to be signed for, so there's no proof it was ever sent or received. However, I would very much appreciate if you can give this laminated photo to Ariana. Admittedly you won't want the photo of me hanging on your wall around the house. However, I would like her to fully understand that her father still loves her sorry, still loves and adores her and always will do. I wouldn't want her to grow up feeling I abandoned her or didn't love her, but that she's a very special child both of us love very much. And if anything, this photo shows the love Ariana and I had for each other. Regards me. So, um that's that really. Um I can't I mean your mum hasn't contacted me since I came up. I never expected her to. Um I've written this very respectable letter. Do I expect anything to come out of this? No, I don't. And even if it does, you know, it will have to be on my terms because I'm not going to go through this cycle of being mugged off all the time. Um, um, but, you know, even if she did contact me, she would never agree to my terms anyway, so it is what it is. Um, um, I need to look after me now because... Um, Honest, yeah, my health is not great. Um, I'm, this arthritis is tiring me out so quickly. Um, had a birthday this week on the 11th. Went to the gym in the morning. Went to Guildford to see some friends in the afternoon. Uh, ben said he wasn't feeling well and wanted to go home slightly early, which did you know, mildly piss me off. But then I realised that I was feeling really tired as well. And no word of a lie, I got in just before 10 o'clock, fell asleep in front of the TV... And then when mum said she was going to bed, I went to bed as well. I was exhausted, thinking, I haven't even gone to work this week. Why am I so bloody tired? I've only been to the gym. Um, but I was tired throughout the whole evening, so I don't know what was wrong with me. So, um, you know, I can't not go to the gym because I'll get even more tired than I am. But if I could do go to the gym, I'll just zonk out for the day. But ironically, the next day I was fine. So we'll see where we go with that. Anyway... Um, Unless something major happens, I can't see myself doing another video for quite a while. But then I said that the last time, or I probably thought that the last time. Anyway, um, take care, and um, I love you and always will do.